Now, oh my goodness. I'm blown away by the cruise we've just seen. I'm really, really tempted. I think in deposit only, and now I can look forward to that in March next year. <laughs> but have a look at this one. This is better than half price. This is six star luxury. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> How often do you see six star this luxury? Is the this, is the, this is the first time hey, we've ever featured this product on the show. I'm massively excited. I interviewed the, 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 the MD, um, the, the, the UK MD, and a part of that's featured later. This is a stunning product. This is really what it is. This is ultra luxury. So often we bandy that word luxury around, and it doesn't actually naturally match no. up. No. This is what we're talking about. Um, I mean, their statement is it, it's yachting, not cruising. Absolutely, Hayley, it is. Uh, and it really is all inclusive as well. They're, they're a company that was founded in 2001. Uh, they're not a cruise line, they're a, co they're a yacht company that provide that yacht experience it's an open unstructured ambience uh, you can basically fulfill your own dreams that's why they call it the, the sea dreams you can sleep under the stars no. uh, on the Balinese beds and and they'll, they'll set it all up for you you come out and you can sleep under the stars and you know have breakfast in bed you can eat al fresco the dining is absolutely incredible it's why you get in the oh, cookbook wow. because people rave about the food so much they're always asking for the recipes um, there is, I think it's 95 crew and 112 guests. The ratio is absolutely stunning. You're, you're virtually being looked after one on one. Um, and you can, there's an open policy on the bridge. You can wander up. You can wander up onto the bridge. No. Yeah, you can wander up onto the bridge. You can knock on, and the captain, and the captain can let you come onto the bridge, and you can have a chat to the captain. You have to knock and ask, but you can you can do that. It's that kind of atmosphere. It's so oh, relaxed. Fabulous. It's it's like nothing I've ever. It's actually I've made ever me known. get goosebumps. It's, was, it just sounds so wonderful. When I when I chatted uh, to Andy, you can see a little clip of it. I was absolutely inspired, and it made you know, if I'd do it tomorrow. I really would. <laughs> Amazing. Let's have a little listen to your chat to Andy. Let's have a little listen to how wonderful this cruise line is. The, the, the whole concept of the Sea Dream idea is that. Taking a holiday on a Sea Dream vessel, mm. Sea Dream yacht, is more akin to being on your own private yacht than it is to being on a cruise. Only 112 guests, maximum 112 guests, so 50 couples really, if you think about it, 50 or 53 couples, that are looked after by 95 staff. Oh wow, so it's virtually a one-on-one. -on -one. Almost. In fact, I think it's the highest uh, ratio in, in the cruise industry. I'm, I, to my mind, that sounds about right. Yes, Absolutely. exactly. It's an incredible ratio. So, beautifully small ships, um, very low guest carry, um, and what that has allows us to do is offer a very different onboard experience to regular cruise lines, even some of our competitor small cruise ship brands. Um, and it's very informal, and again, we'll come back to that maybe, maybe in a minute. Um, ultra luxurious, and sometimes, particularly in this country, those two don't sit together. There is a, you know, perception that if something's very luxurious, it's quite formal. It's black tie. Yeah, and there's a place for that, and there's a place for that, of course. Sounds just incredible. It's, it is absolutely stunning, and I, I, you know they've got water sports. All water sports stuffs included. They've got jet skis on the back. They've got glass bottom kayaks that you can just go and use whenever you want. And quite often, the captain will just take you around to a bit of headland and let you find your own deserted beach, and you just. So, like, they would tell me stories about swimming off the back of the, you know, kind of getting off and swimming, swimming to the beach from, from, from the back of the yacht, you know, and they bring out caviar and champagne. I mean, it's mind-blowing. It's, it is it's paradise. It's like a James Bond paradise. This is a real, complete dream cruise. Mm. You're actually saving £3,300 oh. per person. It is an incredible deal. Let's have a little look at the itinerary as well. So we're starting off at Stockholm. Yeah, Stockholm, an amazing, amazing city. 14 different islands. It's spotless. Uh, it's the green capital of, of Europe. Um, it's, they call it the mega capital of Scandinavia. It's a spellbinding city. It's a city full of great museums, my favourite being the Vasa Museum, which is that gorgeous old 226-foot-long warship that's 95% original, but it's entombed um, in the in the actual the museum. It, basically, the ship is the museum itself. Um, you can head out to Gamla Stam, which is the largest and best preserved medieval city um, centres in Europe. Uh, you've got the Royal Armoury, the Royal Palace, Stockholm City Hall, and try the Swedish crumble cake. They do a variety <laughs> of flavours. Get that and a coffee. It's stunning. I, I, 
I mean, I, I'd love I, at Stockholm. I, I Swedish meatballs as well. I don't sorry, I never do them in IKEA, but um, try them here in. Oh, it's stunning! It really is fabulous. Sounds good to me. And then we're moving on to Helsinki. Yeah, great, vibrant, beautiful city no, known as the daughter of the Baltic, um, and a wonderful mixture here of kind of Russian architecture, neoclassical buildings, um, and modern kind of minimalist design as well. It's one of the world's most beautiful harbors. Um, it's a great place to explore by boat. Uh, the, all the canals. I would say definitely go through to Sumalina Sea Fortress. It's an ESCO protected site. Great views of the whole of the the whole of the, uh, the coastline. A stunning place to go and visit. Uh, amazing. And then we're going to St Petersburg. Fabulous, but we're overnighting. <laughs> Two nights. Two here. nights. Three days in St. Petersburg. This is this is the way this to see wonderful. St. Petersburg. This is Russia's window on the west. Uh, you can discover the Hermitage, uh, the, the Winter Palace is within that. Over three million uh, works of art. You've got all the different palaces for you know um, from the, the, the Peterhof Palace through to St. Catherine's Palace, all the wonderful fountains. You can go through and, and enjoy uh, a canal cruise. It's one of the best ways, in fact, to see. Uh, the city is by is by the is by the water. Um, you've got the, the, the Church of Spilled Blood, which you're seeing here, where they store potatoes in the Second World War. It's like gingerbread architecture. I always say that you can almost break break a piece off and, and eat it. it. It's that delicious. Uh, it's an incredible incredible city. It in really is incredible city. Incredible cruise. Amazing. And We're moving on. Ballet in the evening as well. Oh Hayley. yes, of course you could. To, you could you there. Theatre. Yeah. Oh my word. Now they've moved on and we've stayed there. I know. Well, where, I, I, where, where are we moving on to? Away. Tallinn. And this is great. I mean, this is this is actually this is my favourite of the of this itinerary. I love Tallinn. Um, it's a walled city. It's like going back into a brother's grim tale in the sense of the sense of history, because you've got you, you also imagine oh, Hans Christian Andersen stepping out from around the corner and greeting you. You can go and get you know um, a glass of wine in the ancient uh, Gothic uh, town square where you've got that wonderful town hall overlooking you. You've got St Catherine's Walkway with all the artisans selling stuff. You've got the wonderful um, two Pia Palace, where the the Parliament live and, and work, it's it's a gorgeous, spellbinding little city. And I'd say definitely just walk around, get lost as you walk around. Uh, oh, I mean, I, I Tallinn sends shivers down my spines. I've met many, many, many happy times. Spines, spine. I've only got one. Incredible. Now we've got one more stop before we head back to Stockholm. Well, where are we going now? Yeah, well, this is incredibly rare. This is uh, Malihain, and this is uh, Island Island. Uh, it's incredible. It's what can I say? It's did you hear that story? It's, it's like a little paradise. I don't know if you heard the story about the, the diver, and he came from here, Christian Ekstrom, who discovered all those champagne bottles dating from the 18th century. Oh, yes. Right? Well, this is where he comes from. And um, what you, they actually do a wonderful tour here. It's, full of, it's, a, it's a massive wildlife area, so you can go out here and see white-tailed eagles, uh, elks and deer in the forest. Uh, there's loads of indigenous species of plant that you only find on this particular island. It's a very rare place to go, but the best thing to do is you can go and try, um, go and actually see where they meet, meet, meet the, some of the crew that found those champagne bottles and do a tasting and, and do a tasting for different champagnes as well. Oh. Really, really stunning little, little place to visit. What a special cruise. If you've got a special occasion coming up, this is going to be the cruise for you. This is better than half price. This is sheer luxury this is six star luxury all inclusive and just going to be the most amazing yeah. and this is when we holiday. say all inclusive this is an open bar with premium brands we're not talking about limited if you've got a favorite brand that you love and they're not going to say no that's not included you know everything is included and the wine oh i, I saw the wine list i was i was drooling it really is absolutely incredible you do need to check that cruise out, either on the phones or check out the website as well. This is Sea Dream 1. This is a yacht club cruise, so not your regular cruise. This is a real, absolutely unbelievable treat.